All right, good Thursday morning, everyone. The stock market back up right now. We're on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange with Jim Cramer. Jim, let's start with Walmart, another company giving $1,000 yeah, bonuses. Yeah, Walmart, I mean, you have to be there for 20 years, but Doug McMillan has revolutionized uh, what I regard as being the modern day retailer because what he did was put food in. Initially, it was a little rocky, but now they're the largest grocer. They are making their stores better and better. Why? Because the managers now stay longer. Now they're being incented. They used to be one of the lowest paid companies. My friend David Faber did a piece on the age of Walmart. All you did was just realize, wow, as soon as you were good at Walmart, you went to Costco and started being uh, working there. Uh, Costco has always been ahead of Walmart because they pay people more. But Doug McMillan's making moves, and uh, this is the kind of thing that reminds me of Henry Ford when he started uh, paying his workers $5 a day and boosted the whole GDP. And Walmart has two million workers. Of course, not all of them get the bonuses, but this is saying something. It is, again, a, a, a refutation of what we thought would happen when they pass tax reform, which is that all the money is supposed to go to uh, dividends and buybacks. Yeah, Walmart, the biggest employer in the U.S. I mean, the Federal Reserve should be looking at this, perhaps. Well, man, I think that the good thing about Walmart is that uh, and, and I have a Walmart that my when we take my daughter to college, uh, four years ago, we couldn't use it. We had to drive 20 miles out of our way to Target. Uh, now we enjoy, I'm going out there next week, now we enjoy going to our Walmart so much that I find myself buying a lot of things that I didn't even need. This is a testament. If you been, haven't been to Walmart in two or three years or four or five, go to your Walmart. You will not believe how good it is. Shares have 46% over the past year. Is there more well, room to run? I think there is. Now remember, this is not a, a this is not an event that's going to make you want to buy the stock. Let's, let's, let's make that clear. It's going to be the online presence. Uh, the online presence is, is dramatic and good. Uh, I was worried about grosser margins, but after that target call, I'm not that worried because the target call is good. I do believe that Walmart goes to 110. Wow. All right. And meanwhile, the tax reform excitement continues with Delta raising their 2018 earnings guidance. Delta, KP Homes, Lennar. They are the actual unofficial kickoff to the earnings season, not just J.P. Morgan and Wells. I urge you to listen to the KB Holmes. Uh, KB Holmes call just magnificent, a lot of that tax reform. Delta has a lot of free cash flow. Uh, who knows what they'll do with it, but you know that it's good for shareholders. I do still think that the airlines are undervalued. I can't say the same for the home builders since we, I like them so much lower. But this is a lot of it's tax reform driven. It's good news. And Delta perhaps maybe buy some equipment with that money? Well, you know what? There's accelerated equipment. Uh, purchases. Look at Boeing. It's up before the market opens uh, almost every day. Still, uh, my $400 price target, which was meant for 18 months, I don't know. I mean, it's closing in. It's still got another 60, 65 point, but I think Boeing is the stock to own. Meanwhile, Jim, what did you think of that Barclays note on Netflix talking about the transition from the steam revolution to well, electricity? I mean, look, Barclays is very much um, late to the story of Netflix, but Netflix is one of the top 10 most heavily shorted stocks. Uh, the piece itself is, I'm being a little facetious about it, but the piece itself is saying that Netflix is uh, has changed the game. Uh, but I would tell you that uh, Netflix is bigger than everyone but Disney. And, and so at a certain point, maybe it takes a break, uh, kind of like how the other fangs have taken a break. But I thought it was very interesting to, that Domino's, which is uh, as was up 2,000 points, uh, during 2000% during the period that Pat Doyle was the CEO, uh, is the uh, it beat all of Fang except for the end, Netflix. All right, Jim, meanwhile, who do you have coming up on Mad Money tonight? I've got Denny's tonight, and I think Denny's is a great story in terms of capital allocation, uh, in terms of uh, being a value play like a Dollar General or Dollar Tree. I have a little alpha called a way on, which is a, a sensation in, in uh, travel experience luggage. Obviously, uh, small, it's not, not publicly traded, but I think that Denny's is going to be eye-opening because what's happened at Denny's is what's happening in a lot of places. Great customer retention, great loyalty, value meal, continue uh, people to continue to go there, tax reform, more money, more buyback. Uh, maybe some wage increases. It's just a virtuous circle all the way around. All right, Denny's tonight, 6 p.m. Eastern on CNBC. Jim, we're going to continue the conversation on ActionAlertsPlus.com. And we should remind everyone that, Jim, you had your call yesterday. People yeah, you know, people should sign. I mean, look, am I begging for people to sign up? You know, frankly, I spent so much time on the call that kind of, I don't think I'm bad. I'm just saying, I, I, this is the thing I work the most hard every single month. And, and I try to put a lot in it. And the team really uh, comes around and... Uh, it, it, you know, if I were a hedge fund manager, I would be on the call. All right? So think about that. Go watch the replay. All right. Jim, thank you. Yeah.